السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ گزشتہ میں میری نعمت اللہ خان صوفی صاحب سے بات ہوئی تھی تو انہوں نے کہا تھا کہ دو منٹ کے لیے آپ بھی مخاطب ہوئیے تو میں نے کہا نہ میں وجودان ہوں نہ مخرر ہوں اور میری گرفت بھی نہیں ہے اردو زبان پر رہتی تو کل پھر ان کا کال آیا اور نعمت بھائی نے کہا کہ اس بار آپ انگریزی میں تقریر کر سکتے ہیں تو لائک جواد بھائی آئی مور کمفرٹیبل اسپیکنگ ان انگلش تو میں نے کہا چلو انگلش اور ہندی ملا کر انگلش میں بات کرتے ہیں سب سے تو آئی ول بی اسپیکنگ ان انگلش آلسو لائک دا ٹو فارمر اسپیکرس اینڈ دا مین ریزن وائی آئی ایم ہیئر لائک ایوری بڈی ایلس از بیکاز آف دا پرسنالٹی دیٹ وی ہیو ود اس ڈاکٹر حیدر محمد خان صاحب تو آئی ہیڈ ریڈ سم ویئر اے لانگ ٹائم اگو آئی ڈونٹ ریمبر ہو دا کوٹ واز اسٹرانگ بٹ اٹس دیٹ اے لیڈر ڈز ناٹ سی تھنگس ڈفرینٹلی ہی جسٹ سیز اٹ بفور ایوری بڈی ایلس سو آئی فارملی کال ہم حیدر انکل سو آئی ٹیک دا پرولیج ٹو کال ہم حیدر انکل اگین سو دس از دا کوالٹی دیٹ آئی سی ان ہیم اینڈ آئی ہیڈ دا پرولیج ٹو ہیو فیو ون آن ون پرسنل لیول انٹریکشنس ود ہیم so i understand how passionate he is about education i believe that it is his biggest dream to see literacy within the community especially with the youngsters and the conversation that we had was i believe pre covid so ye pura covid ka hone se pehle wo conversation tha and he was speaking about digital education at that time when nobody thought about digital education So now COVID happened, everybody is talking about digital education. So that is what I meant when I said that he sees things before everybody else does. So the conversation was around where the community is, how we can help the community, bringing the literacy rate of the community up. And he works with certain organizations that are playing a key role from before the COVID era and especially now while we are in the COVID era. And he is one of the key members of those organizations. And he impacts so many different lives. So when I was told to speak about him for about five or six minutes, I think, I'm, and I believe he's timing me also. So it was like telling me to gather oceans in my palm to speak about Dr. Heather Hamasan for five minutes. So nobody can do justice to his work, to his personality by speaking for five or six minutes. But from my personal experience, I will say that there are different kinds of people. There are people who are dependent on other people. مختلف وجوہات کی وجہ سے کسی کوئی بیماری کی وجہ سے دوسروں پہ ڈیپینڈنٹ ہوتے ہیں کسی کے پاس سہولتیں فراہم نہیں ہوتی دوسروں پہ ڈیپینڈنٹ ہوتے ہیں کچھ لوگ صرف لیزی ہوتے ہیں دوسروں پہ ڈیپینڈنٹ ہوتے ہیں تو ایسے لوگ ہوتے ہیں سوسائٹی میں دین دیر آر پیپل ہو ٹیک کیئر آف دم سبس وہ اپنے آپ کا خیال رکھ لیتے ہیں کسی ضرورت نہیں ہے ان کو وہ اپنے آپ کا اچھے سے خیال رکھ لیتے ہیں کسی کو تکلیف نہیں دیتے اینڈ دین دیر آر پیپل ہو ٹیک کیئر آف دیر امیڈیٹ فیملیز دے لک آفٹر دیئر پیرنٹس دے لک آفٹر دیئر سبلنگس دے لک آفٹر دیئر گرینڈ پیرنٹس اس کے بعد جو لوگ آتے ہیں وہ لوگ اپنے پہلے خاندان کا خیال رکھتے ہیں تو دے لک آفٹر ناٹ اونلی دیئر امیڈیٹ فیملی بٹ دے لک آفٹر their extended family also, this extended relatives also, and some community members. And uh, you know, these people, are their name is used, their name is thrown around. So if somebody is stopped somewhere by a policeman or there is an altercation or there is a fight, so these people very proudly say, Mere ne So these are the mamas that I'm talking about. And then, and then comes somebody who works for humanity. And this is probably less than 1% of the people in the world. And I count Dr. Heather Muhammad Khan Sahib in that 1% of the people. And not just his personality. Not just his personality. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed his life with everything. He has a wonderful, wonderful family. He has a very good set of friends, I am sure, because I have watched him from a very young age. And he's an inspiration by Jabbar Bhai said, just looking at him, the way he conducts himself, the class he has, the mannerism he has, the etiquette he has, the courtesy he has, even when he speaks to people who are much, much younger than him. So he's an inspiration. So, and he belongs in the top 1% in every possible manner that you can think of. Professionally, he's a doctor. He's blessed with money because he's worked for it. He's worked his entire life in the rightest manner. to earn this respect and money. 
He has children who are very successful. Personally, he is an extremely successful man. He is a very respected member of every community that he gets involved in. Not just our military community, also the work communities and the people he interacts with outside also. So he is in the top 1%. His children are successful. They are living in America, first world. The first world is They have everything that anybody that dreams of. So they have all of those things. But he still, even after having successful, educated, working, high profile, job holding children, is still thinking about children who don't have those privileges. So he's sitting in the top 1%, he travels the 98% and he's thinking about the bottom 1%. Yep. So that is the beauty of Heather Ali Khan Saab's personality. So that is in very, very few people that I know of. So, and all I can say is, like Jawadhai said, we get to learn from him, we get inspired from him, we try to contribute in our little way that whatever we can, and it was the first time I heard from him also, and he said very extremely inspirational words too, that don't think that what can I alone do? You alone can also make a lot of difference. One voice can make a difference is what people say. So your voice is also valid, your voice will also make a difference, but you have to speak in the right rooms. If you speak on the Chaputara, it probably is not going to make any difference. If you speak in the right room, it definitely will make a difference. So I will wrap up, I won't take too much of the time, but I will go back to the digital education and talk about my personal experience because I am working towards digital education also. We have a lot of youngsters sitting here, so I am pretty sure all of you are studying right now, school, college, in some capacity. School students, raise your hand. Only one going to school, even if you are not going to school. Yeah, even if you are not going to school, online part of the hand open. Who is online part? School me, college me. Last year, kuch padhe, very pass ho gaya. So this is what has happened since the past two years. The children have not received any formal education since the past two years, and they are being promoted to the next grade. This is his concern. This is his worry. Because what is going to happen in the future is, imagine koi bacha chauthi class mein tha, jab COVID start hua. Ghar mein badi ya bacha, online education ke naam pe kuch hua nahi, bache ko koi kisam ki taali mili nahi, lekin bacha paanchvi mein chala gaya. Phir, ek saal a gaya, same cheez hui, bacha chheti mein bhi chala gaya. Agar agle saal, academic year ki baat karao, kyunke saal to shiru ho gaya, academic year mein, agar school start ho jata hai, और ये चौथी में जो बच्चा स्कूल में था आखिरी स्कूल अटेंड किया था वो सातवीं में जाएगा बिना दो साल पढ़े इट इज इम्पॉसिबल फॉर हिम टू कीप अप नहीं कह सकता मुमकिन नहीं है तो वी आर प्रॉबली लुकिंग एट एन एंटायर जनरेशन दैट इज गोइंग टू हैव डिग्रीज विदाउट एजुकेशन एंड नथिंग कैन बी मोर डेंजरस दैन दैट एंड डॉक्टर हैदर मोहम्मद खान सॉ दिस बिफोर एवरीबडी एल्स एंड ही मेड अ डिफरेंस टू एज मेनी लाइफ as he could by digitally empowering them. So if they have digital education, hai, those are the children who are studying. So this is what we need to get inspired by. These are the things that we need to look at. These are the people that we need to look at, how they are working so we can carry the work forward. So I can like, fine by side, we can go on and on for hours and days speaking about his work because his body of work is huge. I don't even know 5% of what he does and I can speak for hours. So the idea is to get impressed, to get inspired, to make the difference that we can in our individual capacity without thinking that what can I alone do. So get that out of your mind. Each one of you, especially the youngsters sitting here looking at me because I am able to speak English. All of you go to English medium schools. English medium, English medium, English medium. So everybody is going to English medium school. I'm just going to ask one of you. Up to which class? He has completed intermediate. So we have children who have went to English medium schools for the past 10, 12, 15 years, and they are not able to speak English. There is a problem because it is not easy. 
to send a child to an English medium school. Parents have to go through a lot. So when somebody speaks in English, they look at him like he came from a different world. And you have been to an English medium school for 10 years. So that is where the problem is. We need to change these things. We need to get inspired by a personality like this who's passionate about education. Education gives you a degree. Knowledge makes you worthy of that degree. So Dr. Heather Mohammed Hansa works towards the knowledge of the community. So for now, we have him with us. We need to stand behind him, have him hold our hand, guide us through the process. So we learn from him. Inshallah. So after me, I will only pray that Allah SWT will be able to keep the house and keep the house. Allah SWT will be able to keep the house and keep the house. Allah SWT will be able to keep the house and keep the house. We will be able to keep the house and keep the house. We will be able to keep the house and keep the house. We will be able to keep the house and keep the house.